hey guys welcome back today we're going to be talking about this tweet x post whatever you want to call it up here job security is an illusion companies with mass layoffs so far in 2024 here is a list you got ups nike ebay meta fedex paypal disney whole bunch of different companies then it proceeds to say your job doesn't care about you never feel guilty about leaving a job for a better opportunity Kirby, what are your thoughts on this? I got a lot of thoughts on this, and um, but I'll just keep it simple. And the corporations don't reward reward loyalty. And what I mean by that, I mean you see the in social media and people saying, "Oh, the way you get bigger promotion is if you." You know, job hack, you know, be able at one company for two years and you jump to another company, jump to another company, jump to another company. You will get a higher income than somebody that's just staying loyal to a job, being in the same position or just moving up in the same corporation uh, over a 15 year period. Now, I know it's going to be outliers out there. I know somebody going to say, well, at my job, I, but for the most part, that is, that is the case. I mean, that's, that's not how it used to be. Uh, back in the day, in the olden times, Alex, you know, back when you wasn't even <laughs> thought about, loyalty was rewarded, but now it's not rewarded. And I blame the companies. The companies, they, you know, they look at, I mean, they always looked at employees as a number, but now it's, it's more just a, hey, these people need us more than we need them. Uh, type of mindset so they overhire then they overfire then they people come in and come out and the thing is the companies know the thing that most people just don't realize most people don't save money most people don't invest and most people have to sit here and pay for all the debt that they put on their family so why would we pay them more money when they have to stay here anyway and then we don't need them no more we could just let them go some states, some companies don't even pay a severance. They just say, uh, here's the boot. And then you got to go figure it out yourself. But the reason why companies have that ability to do that is because they know the people need the job more than the company need them to do it. And like the post said, people are very easy to be replaced because it's always somebody else out there that's willing to take the same pay or lower pay because they got a whole bunch of debt burden that they have to deal with. So. The loyalty factor is is non-existent in corporate America. Yeah, this is this one is so strong because like I see this at work with just about every single person I work with, especially the old heads. And I mean, it's it's like a societal belief or whatever like oh there's seniority in companies like oh i've been with this company 20 30 years i deserve this or i'm entitled to this and the truth of the matter is just the only objective of a company is just to make money like and employees are expenses and people seem often surprised when they're laid off or they're fired it's like they just lost their life basically and i always i i it's extremely difficult for me to have like any kind of sympathy in that asset in that aspect because i believe that as an individual you are accountable and responsible for your life you shouldn't put that in the hands of a job you shouldn't put that in the hands of a parent in the hands of a brother a sister anybody else you should be fully dependent and if you're not you need to figure out how to be fully in or not fully dependent independent and if you're not you need to figure out how to be fully independent because the truth of the matter, and we see this with history repeated and in every single day occurrences, companies do layoffs. And especially you and I investing in stocks, we see the reasons for the layoffs. They want to keep the dividend for their investors. They want to raise the dividend for investors. They want to have you know, more room for growth so that the stock can grow. It's they Companies only care about the board, shareholders, they don't care about employees. They care about their customers, things of that sort. But you should never have that, I, that idea or way of thinking that a company 
isn't or is obligated to take care of you. You're entitled to it because you've been there for so long. At any given moment, you could be let go. And on the contrary, what you should be doing is how can you take advantage of the company? And that's why like, I've always stressed to people, the only thing I view a company for or a job is do my job, make as much money as possible at the job unless there's a better opportunity for me elsewhere and use that money, the most of it possible to invest it so I can create my own opportunities. I can create my own entitlements or whatever. That's the only way I view a job. I don't view a job for their benefits, their family environment, their pizza parties, just to get the paycheck and invest it. That's it. <laughs> Go ahead. Alex, I think you I think you just said it best, man. I can't even I can't even follow up on that one. Forget the pizza parties. Forget the forget the Christmas parties. Forget all that. The family environment, it's a it's a it's a facade. It's a uh, it, to me it's like a, a Judas Judas, they smile on your face and they got a knife ready to stab you in the back. Exactly. But yeah, I can't. I, you said it best. I'm not going to even try to follow that up. But with all that being said, hit the like and subscribe button. And uh, please tell Alex he's wrong that jobs are important <laughs> and jobs are uh, jobs are needed and they love you. <laughs> yeah, have a good one. We'll see you guys.